couple of people had me replace the wheel in their Death Adder V3, so here's a video. It uses a Torx T6 on the bottom here. Three of those, and then you're inside the mouse. There's a small ribbon cable in the front to be careful with. It just pulls out and pushes back in later. The rest of the mouse is just regular screws. This is me just getting it clipped in, and then I decide to take the switch out to get better access to the encoder. Bonus of these optical switches is that they literally just clip into place, so you just push the clips back and the switch just pulls off. It's a KL15 that's in there. So I replaced it with the TTC Gold 15. So I use flush cutters, put them in like you can sort of see here. Just cut the legs off, it makes it easy to remove. The main part of the encoder is being held in by these three. So I just add solder to that, warm it up, pulls right out. Don't do that with your fingers like I just did. Then the legs here, add solder, warm them up, push them through. I grab them with the precision tweezers because they will be really hot. So I just pull them back out and then I clean the holes out with the solder sucker. So there it is with all the solder removed. Press the new encoder in place. Sometimes if there's still some solder in the holes, you're gonna have to remove it even more. I may or may not have done that off camera. But once the encoder's in, just attaching it to the board, tiny little bit of solder, make sure they're not bridged at all. Be very careful. Use a smaller tip. If you're new to this, I'm fairly precise with this large chisel tip just because it's what I'm used to. But if this is your first time, definitely put a tip with a finer point on there. There it is, just filling, filling it with solder. Looking it over, everything looks good. It's basically done. This is me putting the switch back in. Just line everything in and press it through. And that's how easy that is. Get the PCB in. Don't struggle to get that in for 20 minutes and then cut it out of the video. Push that ribbon cable back in, close the mouse up, and you're good to go. That's really it. If you want to take a swing at it yourself, this should help you out. Otherwise, you can send it to me to do it for you. And if you're interested in the gear that I'm using for doing this type of thing, it's all listed on my website, nstopwin slash gear. And here is a clip of it working. That's all. Peace.